RoboDude2829 here again, and today we have another video featuring the HP Stream 7 and this very tacky looking keyboard cover attached via micro USB up here. And I'm also using a Bluetooth mouse that I bought off of Amazon. Uh, I'm just going to be running Minecraft real fast, do a quick demonstration to let you see how Minecraft runs on the HP Stream 7 with default settings. Go ahead and open it up here. And it pulls up. And we'll go ahead and play. If you've seen the video of it running on the Vulcan Excursion, uh, that device has 2 gigs of RAM with an Atom processor, and this one only has 1 gig of RAM with the Atom processor. So as you can imagine, it is definitely a little bit laggy. But it's not quite as laggy as I would expect. I'm pretty sure that if I were to use the same settings I used in my other video on how to get better performance out of it, then it will run much better. And if I get around to it, I might make a video of that. Alright, we'll go ahead and go into single player here. And we'll pick this world. does take a little while to load for sure. <laughs> Takes a good little while to load evidently. And here we are. And you can already see the lag. Uh, water is one thing that definitely causes a lot of lag. Once you get up here, it's not as bad, but obviously still very laggy. But again, we have to understand that the HP Stream 7 isn't exactly the best specs for it to be running on. And chop down a tree here. So as you can see it's playable, but probably still not a great idea to be playing it. Now you can really see it lagging there. So yeah, let me just hurry up and craft something here. Get a crafting table, and voila. So this has just been a quick video of Minecraft on the HP Stream 7. Uh, at default settings, I definitely do not recommend uh, it for gaming with Microsoft or with Minecraft. However, with optimized settings, I'm quite sure we can pull some decent performance out of it. Uh, hopefully, I'll get around to doing a video with that sometime, and. Hope you guys have a good day.